We have an average about 900 people being released from incarceration every month in Colorado. At least 80% of those are returning without stable housing. Imagine trying to resettle someplace and not having a safe environment for you to lay your head down. We're a reentry agency dedicated to helping formerly incarcerated folks transition to lives of success and fulfillment. So many of us, we've walked the same prison yards with a lot of the folks that come here for services. So we're really an example for our folks of how life can be if you commit to doing it differently. When we were trying to find housing placement for our folks, what we had was very few options. So we were putting people in hotels up and down Colfax. Enterprise was the ones who first supported us. They understood the need for housing for our particular population. They believed in what we wanted to do enough to get behind us and help us bring on professionals to help teach us the things we needed to learn. Even supporters and allies were very discouraging, telling me no one gets tax credits on the first try. Enterprise stepped up. Their support said to people that we were to be taken seriously. We used Blue Line on the first project. We got a bridge loan through Enterprise. The only way that we're in a position to be developers of this project is because of our connection and our support of Enterprise, period. Our first province at the Heights was a 50-unit permanent supportive housing development. Our second one, residences on Akama, is 128 units. What it's going to do is not just bring this project to fruition here in Denver, permanent supportive housing, but also 68 of the units are going to be for workforce housing, for our apprenticeship readiness programming. Enterprise is always working on increasing the supply of affordable homes across Colorado. Our nonprofit partners are busy serving their residents Enterprise takes on the role of fundraising, and then we're able to pass those resources through to our partners. That may be federal Section 4 grants or other resources that we've been able to bring. Racial equity is a pillar of everything that we do at Enterprise. We focus on communities that have been disproportionately impacted by the real estate market, and we work with partners from throughout the state to make sure we're really listening to them and building that equity into everything we do. When we talk about the impact of enterprises focused on equity, supporting us with this equity path forward, that's putting us in a position to be first-time developers, as black men in particular, formerly incarcerated folks, serving a marginalized population like ours. I think it's evolutionary, if not revolutionary. I hope that Enterprise supporting Second Chance Center and our development processes inspires other people to realize that it's something that they can do in their communities and see a template for how to get it done.